Right now, I am at 14 weeks, just a little bit over. This is actually the size of baby right now, the size of a lemon. I kind of think that I should be showing a little bit if it's that big in there, but not really yet. Hey you guys, Erin here at Eat Move Rest and welcome back to the channel. So today I'm going to be sharing with you guys my first trimester recap. Everything, the ups, the downs, the highs, the lows, the in-betweens. I'm going to get raw and real with you guys and I hope that's cool with you. I am no expert by any stretch of the imagination but I am willing to share my story which is more than some people can say <laughs> it's not easy but I want to let you guys in I want to bring you along on the journey it's what I'm passionate about I just want to be able to give and take and receive information from you guys as well so if you've got tips and tricks keep leaving them in the comments DMing me on Instagram follow Dusty and I at Aaron Stanzik at DB Stanzik we would love to have you guys be here subscribe to the Eat, Move Rest YouTube channel if you're not already part of the fam like I said we just really want you guys to come along for the journey with us this is a big step in our lives I'm nervous I'm anxious I'm scared I'm a little excited a lot excited Lots of emotions, lots, just, it's been a roller coaster. So let's get started. If you guys enjoy these what I eat in a days, if you enjoy this vegan pregnancy information that I'm sharing, give this video a thumbs up. Leave me some love in the comments below, like I said, and let's get going. Green juice down, top knot in place, and usually if I start the morning with a green juice instead of my go-to green smoothie, then I like to follow it up with something a little bit more calorie dense but still easily digestible. And prego cravings have luckily not been too unhealthy, so I'm gonna go for watermelon. It's super easy to digest, super hydrating, and it's just been calling to me. <laughs> I keep telling Dusty, like, I'm so grateful that this happened in the summer when fruit is just abundant. It's at its peak. You get the most variety. We've got all of the stone fruits, peaches, nectarines, cherries, you name it, grapes, watermelon. So I am going to get started on this I'll probably eat this whole half watermelon I think it was like a 15 pound melon so this should probably be like maybe three or four hundred calories on top of like the hundred calories from the green juice gonna get this down do a little work on the laptop and then I've got a bar class but I will definitely check back in with you guys stay tuned because I'm going to be sharing with you my first trimester recap, all the ups, all the downs, and in-betweens. As much as I am loving and craving icy cold watermelon, ice cold smoothies, fruits, anything, it just has to be super chilled. It's unfortunately freezing me out to be inside our cold house. So like literally every morning I've been coming out to our driveway because that's where we get our morning sun. And pop in a squat, enjoying my smoothie bowls, fruits, what have yous outside on the ground. <laughs> Don't judge. It's going to be good.
Hey guys, so I just fixed myself a delicious banana strawberry pitaya bowl. So I'm just kind of working on this. Mm. It's perfect outside today. Probably about in the mid 80s. We just got some rain last night, so perfect weather. Just got home from bar class, so this is kind of my post-workout lunch, I guess you could say. This morning I started with my green juice, then I had my whole half of a watermelon, so now this. And if you saw, I added some chia seeds in, and that is to help get my healthy omega-3 fatty acids, especially when expecting. It's super important to get those healthy fats into your diet as much as possible. I'm going to give you guys a little first trimester recap now that I am officially 14 weeks and in my second trimester. Yay! <laughs> so, I've got my journal. I had been taking notes because A, I want to be able to remember down the road, but also for you guys because I was kind of planning on giving this recap anyways. So let's take it back to the start. So Dusty and I had our Eat, Move, Rest full day retreat, which was out at our family lake house property. Um, and I had no idea that I was actually pregnant at that time. But the very next day, he and I took Bo out to the park down the street and still had no idea. It was Earth Day though. So we were kind of just like being outdoorsy, being goofs. We brought our cameras. We were climbing trees and taking fun pictures. It was a perfect day. Came home later that night after dinner. I, I was like, you know, I haven't gotten my period in a while and mine are always, always irregular, which is kind of so like, I don't ever expect anything like, oh, I'm pregnant if, if I'm late because it's just so common that they're just not regular. They never have been but my boobs had been hurting and getting bigger and sometimes that happens with like PMS and it'll happen for me for like seven days before my period but it had been a good 14 days so two weeks and I was like okay I know I have a pregnancy test like I almost never have taken them I've taken like two in my life but I took one and Dusty was in the bathroom he was like brushing his teeth or something and I looked down at it. Okay, you guys, this video got a little bit lengthy. So for the sake of your attention span, and in case you're only interested in the what I eat portion, I decided to split this video into two parts. So to sit down with me for lunch, to hear more about my first trimester story, my cravings, aversions, etc., stay tuned because that video is coming very soon. Just got done doing a little computer work, and it is time for a midday snack so this has legit been like one of my pregnancy cravings that right there is raw almond butter and banana and I know technically like the fruit and fat thing is like poor food combining but honestly it has been hitting the spot tasting so good and again getting those healthy fats in almonds are super high in vitamin E important for your skin and your hair and so many other bodily functions. So I'm loving it and I'm sticking to it. And one more banana just for good measure because they're just so good right now. Mm. Take my shoes off, get in a little grounding action, little evening, late afternoon sun. Summer's the best, you guys. I could easily live somewhere tropical Dusty and I still want to move, travel, shake things up a little bit with the baby on board. What do you guys think? Should we move? Should we just travel a lot? Do you have somewhere for us to stay? <laughs> Let me know in the comments below. Good evening, you guys. So I'm going to show you something that I didn't record, but you must know. You must know the secret. So I said I've been craving fruit, especially grapes, but not just any grapes. These are good no matter what. This isn't pregnancy. This is everybody everywhere. Organic cotton candy grapes, USDA certified. Organic certified delicious. So I just had some of those as a snack and 
This is the fridge. It's, it's pretty good. It's looking good right now. Anyway, now dinner time. Dreaded dinner time because, I, like I said, the aversions have been severe with the greens, which deeply saddens me because I know that they're packed full of folate, iron, calcium, all the minerals, all the vitamins that I need. But the hubs thankfully chopped me a salad and I'm gonna get it down. So Dr. Greger on nutritionfacts.org said, especially make sure that you're getting in the folate, the iron, um, iodine, and he said, get down the lentils, the beans, the greens, force them down even if you don't love it. So smoothies and juices and fingers crossed, hopefully if you guys are in the same boat, you can get down some salads and some healthy grains and stuff too. So I'm gonna snack on this and then we'll see what round two holds. We just picked up all fresh ingredients from our farmer's market on Sunday. I did not chop this, full disclosure, the hubs, it has been <laughs> a lifesaver. So I don't know what it is, something about actually preparing the food kind of makes me nauseous. I topped it with dressing, all I did was lemon tahini and a dash of turmeric. So for round two, we just cooked some quinoa and sauteed some carrots, put in some frozen organic peas. So we're gonna make basically fried rice, but with quinoa instead. And then to flavor it, liquid aminos. And normally we would put in um, onion and garlic, but my nose and my taste buds just aren't loving it right now. So we're gonna leave those out. It's still gonna taste just as good. And we're gonna make some scrambled tofu to go in it to take the place of scrambled eggs. So here is a final look at our quinoa fried veggies, aka kind of like fried rice. And you can see we added it in our scrambled tofu. Looks just like scrambled egg. Better for you. Okay, so you guys are probably wondering if I'm showing, so let's do a little sneak peek here. Of course, thanks to this adorable knot in my shirt, it looks like I've got a mega bump but I'll let you guys be the judge. This is what we're sitting with currently. I've always had a little bit of a pooch right there, so it's kind of hard to say, but my clothes still fit the same. There might be a little bit of something showing, but honestly, I don't think I feel or look that different as far as physical attributes. Other than these guys, they won't stop growing, but that's okay, because I didn't have a whole lot to work with to begin with. Hey you guys, that's it. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you got something out of it. If, if nothing else, maybe you enjoyed seeing a high raw, what I eat in a day. It hasn't changed a whole lot being pregnant, even though my cravings and aversions have kind of gotten in the way. Honestly, it hasn't changed a whole lot. Summer foods are always amazing. So if you guys enjoyed this, give it a thumbs up. And like I said, hit that subscribe button if you're not already part of the Eat, Move, Rest fam. We would absolutely love to have you join. Leave me some love in the comments below. I love hearing from you guys. So far, I've had nothing but incredible feedback and advice, tips and tricks from you guys. I so appreciate it. Everything from suggesting to find a midwife, which I've done, finding a doula, which I had no idea about. So I'm doing that as well. Thank you so, so much. Even the supplements and the nutrition you've recommended has been beyond helpful, so I am beyond grateful to all of you, and Bo is as well. <laughs> Stay tuned, we're looking forward to sharing more of our journey, and let me know what you guys wanna see more of in the comments below. And until next time, I'm getting hot and sweaty. I've either gotta go inside or put a swimsuit on and enjoy my bikinis while I still can. <laughs> so until next time, Say bye-bye to baby and eat, move, rest your best. Bye, guys.